Hey guys, Miranda, Team Brandis. Um, okay, so quick, cheap, easy hack for you guys. Ready? Um, so if you ever use vinyl as your stencil and for like the stainless steel, right? And then you take your vinyl off and it leaves that like that gooey um, and the stickiness from the adhesive from the back of the vinyl because I use whatever vinyl I have extra of like if I have like a crap ton of white then I'll use white because it's just extra and I'm not having to waste you know the colors that I'm gonna use regularly so I'll just use whatever I've got and you know sometimes the adhesive gets left on my cup and you know if you use rubbing alcohol the paint on um, the spray paint is just it, sometimes it comes off sometimes it smears sometimes it um it doesn't work and I get frustrated all the time because then I gotta put the vinyl stencil back on and repaint it and rebake it and then back and forth back and forth anyway so I've been trying to figure out what a good hack is to be able to get the adhesive off and Goo Gone is gonna take the paint off acetone is gonna take the paint off um, 90% alcohol or 91% alcohol it's gonna take the paint off so I got this idea well I use the screen cleaner and the little thingy you know you can buy it at Walmart it's like four bucks I think and it's a thing of screen cleaner and then it's like a a little um, cloth right and you use it to clean your glasses and you use it to clean your computer screen to get the sticky stuff off and the you know the dirt off and stuff right without scratching it well I thought maybe it'll work so I tried it and so I'm gonna try it with you guys so you can see the sticky parts right like right here and like there's a bunch of stickiness on there okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to wrap this in my on my finger like that okay and I'm just gonna spray it on my finger right and then I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna do little circles okay and the cool thing about this little cloth is that it's not gonna leave little hairs and fibers and crap that gets stuck to the paint and then gets under the epoxy and then makes it bubble and everything else that does not do that because this thing is made for screens and for your glasses and for computers and all that other stuff so I got this here and it's not leaving the little hairs and I'm excited about it um once I start I get like halfway done I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna just get a new little area or whatever and you can wash these the best way to wash them to where they don't like um fuzz up or like harden up is on your delicate cycle um or you can hand wash them just with water in the sink or whatever okay um anyways but i was really excited about that because it's not taking my paint off it's not scratching it and i'm able to do it quickly and i'm not sitting here going you know in the little tiny itty bitty areas trying to keep it from the paint coming off which I do, I have done so many times and I get so frustrated and then I've got these little scratches and these lines and paint everywhere and I don't know, it's frustrating. So, you know me though, I'm always trying to find cheap, easy, around the house hacks to do this stuff because I, I need the extra money, you know? I'm not trying to go spend it on a bunch of money or on a bunch of expensive stuff that's just going to end up messing the cup up anyways and then it's a waste of money you know so this stuff I already had so I didn't have to go buy it my husband wears glasses I wear glasses my kids wear glasses I've got a computer you know and even get the cheap little ones that you uh, clean your phone screen off with and all that good stuff so and I also found that this little rag by itself is also good to clean all the lint off of your cup with before you put a boxy on it. So anyways, there you go guys. You don't see any more sticky residue. I'm excited.
and now it's time to epoxy. So, and then stay tuned. I'll be posting a video very soon of how to make your own pigment powder for your epoxy and your mica powders and all this stuff that's like ridiculously expensive. It's, you know, close to $5 for a gram of this pigment powder or for the Pearl De or the Pearlex stuff that you buy at Hobby Lobby. That stuff's expensive. So, I found a way to do it without spending all that money. So, stay tuned and keep checking back because I will be posting it very, very soon. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day and don't forget to share, subscribe, and tell all your friends and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.